Matt Ryszynski, Television Republic's chief correspondent uh, in North America, sir. Uh, how do you see uh, the backlash or the reports from yesterday's uh, manifestation, demonstration in the heart of Warsaw? Hey, uh, good to be here. So the um, uh, the main theme of uh, reporting um, uh, about uh, yesterday's situation, not even yesterday's situations, but we can um, uh, we could stretch it to the last uh, couple of weeks um, uh, in terms of what is happening in Poland, being that um, uh, uh, that uh, truly illegal uh, consolidation and, and takeover of state institutions. So uh, when it comes to do to um, uh, to the crux of the problem, which boils down to um, uh, to the arrest of the former anti-corruption agency heads, um, uh, Mr. Kaminski, Mr. Wojcik, um, uh, that uh, that is really sort of the um, uh, the main uh, the main uh, one plot of the overall story. Um, uh, so um, it may be two things that are worthy of notice here. One is that um, uh, not surprisingly, um, the uh, main narrative about the events in Poland and uh, the, the entire trend of, uh, of politics in Poland is very distorted. It's very biased and it's not uh, it's really not a coincidence we uh, we had seen this over the last eight years um uh, the main um, uh, main um, uh, sort of the uh, you could really call it the media cartel um uh, and titles that would go in the that, that would go into that group would uh, you, you could list uh, new york times washington post uh, uh cnn uh, on the British side, it's Financial Times, Economist, um, as well as the Guardian, um, and also uh, uh, also a portal such as Political. Um, so, um, uh, so that narrative, um, when it's it's trying to portray um, uh, the events in Poland as as as, as, a, as a, so your your typical your typical uh, political uh, political. Uh, um, uh, kind of uh, political haggling of lesser uh, lesser importance, um, uh, in the sense that uh, we've had um, the, the way uh, the way the main narrative goes. We had uh, elections recently. Uh, there is the uh, sort of the nationalist uh, nationalist uh, camp that was that was just voted out, refuses to uh, relinquish power, and now we have these just just uh, your usual haggling uh, around uh, how institutions are going to be taken over. And of course, there is Mr. Tusk, uh, who allegedly needs to restore rule of law. Um, uh, all of it is uh, all of it is uh, not only false, but it uh, really does a huge disservice to uh, to really anyone to um, uh, to what rule of law actually means, because right now we had seen uh, really an assault of what the law is. There's actually all law only exists on paper, and uh, not, uh, and it, everything uh, can be uh, uprooted, questioned, and and the current ruling of the coalition makes uh, completely uh, takes uh, completely arbitrary the, the decisions. Um, when it comes to um, Sorry for going on a long tangent, but um, when when it comes to the case of uh, of the protests around Mr. Vonshik and uh, Mr. Kaminsky's arrest, um, uh, uh, the way it's portrayed is that uh, these were the uh, former uh, former uh, peace uh, government. Uh, um, uh, ministers who had been involved in a corruption case, and uh, just as any any sort of peace appointee, uh, they need to be eventually uh, um, uh, uh, stripped of their office, and uh, new uh, uh, new replacements from the ruling coalition new coalition uh, need to be placed everywhere. It's really like it's really um, so sort of. Um, that uh, that narrative um, not only simplifies, uh, not, not only say um, uh, really um, presents a very shallow picture, but it's obviously it has a has a political twist to it. Um, uh, the, the the main thing uh, that that you should pay attention to is that um, uh, the press all uh, tends to mention that uh, you had Mr. Vonchik and M Mr. Mr. Kaminsky uh, who had been involved in a corruption case, and that's where their problems stem from. Um, uh, for an uneducated reader, or uneducated maybe is not a uh, appropriate word, but an uninformed reader, a Western uh, Western reader who just picks up a paper, looks at it, it's uh, the so uh, the, the first thing, uh, the, the first sort of suggestion that, that will hit uh, any uh, any random reader would be that the that corruption was on their hands. While in fact uh, these were the heads of the anti-corruption unit, and uh, it, what we're facing, what we're looking at now, is a political reprisal for uh, for their sting operation. Um, uh, and uh, the other thing uh, the, is that when you had um, when you have this. 
uh, this sort of um, uh, this sort of um, uh, story repeated over and over about their involvement being left um, uh, deliberately muddied uh, and uh, not uh, not really explained uh, as to what had really happened. Um, then in the following rounds, uh, as the story makes takes turns uh, throughout the. Uh, uh, the uh, Western media circuit, you start seeing stories or, or actually direct mentions that they had been convicted of corruption, which is obviously uh, uh, it's, uh, it's atrocious that uh, that is happening uh, to qualifies for uh, uh, qualifies for, um, uh, you know, even potentially a legal action of its own. Well, this is how it's in misinformation. They obviously were fighting the corruption, but uh, are there any information in the, in the sort of second circuit in America? Uh, we hear that, right. uh, that, that is, like, uh, that is, like Posobiec or, or other guys are distributing right. the, the correct very... information about Poland. And the question is, uh, what is the reach of this uh, news? Right, there's a very good point, uh, and there is something that is only emerging now. For the eight years the, uh, during uh, during the um, uh, rule of the former uh, former peace government, um, uh, when we were blasted over the over those years had uh, were had been blasted over the over those eight years with that narrative of the assault on the rule of law, all of that was really false uh, and uh, and uh, stretched. Um, uh, the sort of the second uh, the, the second circuit the uh, the sort of uh, the uh, Plan B uh, press uh, the so social media coverage about what uh, what is really happening in Poland has had been very slim, uh, or maybe even non-existent. Um, only now, when first we had uh, we had this uh, really brutal, violent, uh, um, uh, just. Uh, Disregard for any written law, uh, following uh, huge protests in Poland, um, you start seeing more interest in what is happening in Poland. And now you only now you are starting to see the second that so-called second circuit really pick up, and it's getting noticed. Um, it's uh, more more and more of it is appearing uh, either on social media, in uh, in sort of uh, you know plan um, or or uh, second um, second tier uh, uh, press uh, titles, but more and more of it is appearing, and that's actually a good thing so if anything uh, it's uh, maybe it's an uh, both an uh, acknowledgement as well as an encouragement to uh, to people in Poland to really um, uh, make noise and make noise about it to protest uh, to uh, um, make their voices heard as much as they can because it, it's really it thus far it is really the only the only channel of getting a, a more coherent uh, thorough uh, state of information out to the world and it seems like the the agenda of uh, the conservatives all over the world is the same, especially in the United States, in Poland. We'll talk more about this definitely, but in the next time, next uh, meeting, because uh, our time is up for now. Ma, thank you very much for uh, your quick comment, and I congratulate on the background you are staying in. I'm always wondering how great places you are visiting. And we are still in our studio. Yeah, uh, try to move around. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Goodbye.